We didn't press it yet, so now we press it already. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. This is Jake Leachko. Have you had coffee yet? Have you had breakfast yet? Well, we're just wrapping up breakfast here at home. And uh, today we have a very interesting uh, topic to talk about. Okay, it's a long gospel, so let me try and, uh, and uh, do this as fast as I could so we could go right ahead and comment on it. Look at the gospel, it's from St. Matthew, chapter 18, 21 to 19, and um, continuing. Okay, Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? Okay. As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king. Okay, our Lord tells a story of a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor, one of his servants, okay, came to him and said, okay, I'll just paraphrase and say, the, the servant came to him and said, Master, I cannot pay you. I don't have enough money to pay you. Okay, so the master just said, okay, I forgive you of your debt. Right? And then the, master, the, the servant turns around and finds a fellow servant. And that fellow servant owes him money too and says, hey, you have to pay up. And he says, oh, be patient with me and I'll pay you back. But you know, right now I have no money. Well, that servant who was just forgiven by his master, had, didn't want to have anything of it, threw him into prison until he paid his debt. Now the other servants saw what happened. They reported to the master. The master got mad at that servant whom he forgave debt from and punished him. See? He said, how dare you do that to your fellow servant? I forgave you your debt. You should be also forgiving of your uh, fellow servant. In his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my father and my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. Unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. So the question is, how often should I forgive my brother? Seven times? You know, the number seven in, in, uh, in the Jewish and Hebrew uh, tradition means many, many. So Peter was already saying, shall I forgive my brother many times? Jesus exaggerates that a little bit and says, oh, I tell you not only seven times, but 77 times, right? As though... As though reiterating the fact that you should be infinite. You should be forgiving all the time. There is no limit to how we should forgive. And why is that? Why is that? Well, because our Lord is the exemplar of forgiveness, right? He always forgives us our sins. He always forgives us every time we ask for pardon. Our Lord always forgives us. Now, let me ask you. When your brothers and sisters do something wrong to you, is it easy to forgive them? Huh? Mia? It depends. Huh? Let's see. What are your answers, Mia? <laughs> Why are you hiding? <laughs> Don't hide. Why are you hiding? Hey, tell me. Is it easy to forgive? Huh? No. No? Why not, Chabelle? Why is it not easy to forgive? I know. You don't know. <laughs> Sophia, what's your answer? Is it easy to forgive? It depends. It depends on what? Um, what other people are doing, what your siblings are doing. What your siblings like, are what? How what? they offended you. How they offended you. Okay. So does it matter if it's a big offense or small offense? Mm -hmm. hmm? <laughs> hey, Joe, get back to your seat, will you? <laughs> Okay, enough, enough, enough. Okay, so, does it depend on the offense? On how big the offense is or how small the offense is? Is that the yeah. basis for why? Huh? Yeah. Well, what our Lord said. 
forgive 70 times 7 times. It does not say forgive only the small offenses or forgive, you know, and, 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 the, and the, the, the master in this parable, master in this story, forgave all the debt, all the debt, whether it's big or small. So I don't think it has to do with how big the debt is or how big the sin is or how big the offense is. Right? So we have to forgive everything. That's what our Lord teaches us here. But let me ask you, why is it hard to forgive? What about you? Why is it hard to forgive? You find it easy to forgive? I guess all of us have been in that situation, right? When somebody has offended us, sometimes it's a big offense and uh, we find it very hard to forgive. Can you answer that question? Why is it hard to forgive? So, what about you? I'll give you 10 seconds. It's annoying. Huh? It's just sometimes it gets to your nerves. And it's really annoying. It gets to your nerves. It's so annoying. Okay. You may have like a grudge on that person. You have a grudge. You develop a grudge on that person. Yeah, but the question is why does that happen? Why is it. Why does it become so annoying and so hard? What, what is the root of that? What makes it so hard? Anger against that person. Anger? Okay, you develop anger. So, but, but why? Why do you get angry? Yeah. Why do you get angry? Where does that anger come from? I think it's been 10 seconds. It's been 10 seconds, okay. <laughs> Did you find an answer? Where does that come from? <clears throat> well, two things. The root of that will be pride on the one hand. And on the other hand, the imperfection of our charity. See, pride and the imperfection of our charity. It's hard. It's hard to forgive because uh, it involves bruised egos, right? We get wounded. And uh, pride sets in, and we tend to develop a wall. Uh, we, we stonewall our hearts, and it, it, it hardens. It becomes difficult to, to forgive because we, we developed a hardened heart. And that hardening of the heart is caused by pride. The higher the wall of pride is, the harder it is to forgive. See? The harder it is to forgive. But Jesus says we need to forgive. 77 times we need to forgive all the time now the, the inability to forgive is directly proportional to the thickness of our pride okay? directly proportional to how thick our pride is and how imperfect our charity is now the question here is how do we overcome that how do we now follow our Lord's advice uh, that we have to forgive 77 times? So let us remember, first of all, we are all sinners. I think we all should begin from there, right? Um, like our Lord uh, uh, asked the, uh, the, uh, the Jews when they were about ready to stone uh, Mary Magdalene, right? Let he who is without sin among you cast the first stone. And one by one, beginning from the elders, they start dropping their stones and said, yeah, every one of us is sinful, right? So that's the first thing we have to keep in mind, which is so easy to forget that we are all sinful ourselves. Okay? And human nature is such that, you know, we are tainted with the stain of original sin. We have the tendency to sin and, and, and it's right there in our very core, in our very being, in our very nature. That's why we always have to fight the temptation to sin, right? And so it all begins from understanding we are not perfect. We are not perfect. And, and because we are not perfect, then we have to extend that consideration towards others who offend us, right? But if we are proud, we think that we are superior to these others. Okay? And, and because of our superiority, because of the feeling of superiority in our bruised egos, we find it difficult to forgive. Okay. Now I have a few tips as to how we can overcome 
this tendency of being unforgiving. The first way I would recommend is to try to seek forgiveness yourselves. Because you and I are sinful anyway. We all have sins. We all have many things we need to ask forgiveness for. Right? So, in order to overcome our pride, why don't we ourselves go and ask forgiveness from God for the sins we have committed against Him? And where do we go to do that? Confession. Confession, right? And only yesterday we were talking about confession. Confession and the need for frequent confession. So you know what? The more difficult it is for us to forgive, the more frequently we should go to confession. Okay? And that is why we go to confession every week, right? Because you keep fighting with each other every day. So we ask forgiveness every day. So we have to also try to ask forgiveness from our Lord as often as we feel the difficulty to forgive. And let us go there to the sacrament of confession, to the sacrament of forgiveness, to the font of grace, right? To the source of grace, because we need the potency of divine grace, the strength of divine grace to break down the walls of pride, hmm? to break down those walls of pride and, and, and soften the heart, to soften the heart, to help us to forgive our brothers from the heart right what our lord said right unless you find it in your heart to forgive your brothers okay then my heavenly father will not also forgive you so let's first go to our heavenly father that's the first attempt try and ask forgiveness for yourself because the more you you ask for that forgiveness then you're going the more you will feel like the master in this uh, uh, sorry, the, the, the servant in uh, the other servants in this parable, see, uh, who needed to forgive, uh, uh, needed the forgiveness. Okay, the other way I would, I would recommend is look at the cross. Look at the cross. If you find it difficult in your heart to forgive your brothers and sisters or your neighbors or anybody, Take a few moments to look at that crucifix. To look at Jesus hanging on that cross. Stare at it. Look at Jesus and realize that Jesus died for you. The reason Jesus is hanging on the cross is because he died for you. He died for you and me. For what? To forgive us our sins. Our sins. Right? Our personal sins. That is the reason why he died on the cross. So if Jesus can find it in himself to forgive us, a mere creature. This is like the master in the parable and the servant. If the master can find it in his heart to forgive all the debt of a mere servant. Who are we not to forgive our fellow servants? Who are we not to forgive our fellow sinners? Who are we not to understand, not to be patient with the shortcomings of our brothers and sisters and people around us? We have no reason not to forgive. And in case you do not have the crucifix anywhere near you or uh, it's going to be a week before you can go to confession and uh, you're just overwhelmed with some form of anger or hate at a particular moment or or some kind of grief or you want to tear your head your hair out because your brother or sister is annoying and, and you and you, you you find it difficult to forgive that's one thing more you can do one Search the image of the crucifix on your phone. You don't have a phone. But there's, there's an easier way. Joe, there's an easier way. Recite the Our Father. <laughs> 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 oh, 
what? <laughs> Recite the Our Father. Recite the Our Father with special emphasis on the last lines. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us ask our Father, through the Our Father, let's ask the, our Father God, forgive me for my sins, that I may also forgive those who offend me. Okay? And this, this way, this, this, this three strategies hopefully can help us overcome the, that feeling, uh, that inability to forgive people who offend us. Okay? What are the three ways again? First is? Confession. Go to confession. Frequent the confession. Because, and the more difficult it is to forgive, the harder it is to forgive, the bigger the offense you think committed to you, the more frequently you should go to confession until you find it in your heart to approach that person and forgive. Whether that person is asking for forgiveness or not, by the way, okay? It is immaterial whether the person is, is even asking for forgiveness or not. You should find it in your heart to extend that forgiveness readily, whether it is asked for or not. Okay? And that's the best uh, uh, way to show our humility. Second, second way, look at the cross. Look at that cross and look at Jesus hanging there and realize he is hanging there for you. And number three, what's an immediate thing you can do? Recite the Our Father. Interiorly, recite the Our Father with emphasis on those words. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Okay, folks, that's the gospel for today. And those are the three strategies I could recommend as part of Catholic best practices. Till next time, have a good day. Have a forgiving day. Bye. Bye.